The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Here's a yacht that was designed with both offshore big game fishing and long distance coastal cruising in mind. For that reason, you're going to see a boat that is at once a serious battle wagon that can land the big ones, and also a comfortable motor yacht that can entertain a crowd and sleep eight people on extended cruises. It's the Hatteras GT63 EFB, and we're going to take a detailed walkthrough of her features. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. The Hatteras GT63 comes in two configurations, the enclosed flying bridge model that we're going to take a look at today, and an open flying bridge model. Below decks, both versions are the same, but the big difference is in the enclosed flying bridge, so let's start there. Access to the enclosed flying bridge is either up this ladder in the cockpit, or up the optional staircase in the salon. I like the spiral staircase because it provides security in a seaway and takes you from one protected area to another. The Hatteras GT63 has a 20-foot beam, which is the widest in class. That pays off all over the boat, including up here where it allows five people to face forward, two on either side of the skipper. Notice the footrests and the drawers for chart kits below the companion seats. Hatteras has placed the instrument panel low so that nav screens do not reduce forward visibility for the captain, or for the people in the bridge for that matter. I would move the VHF radio so that four large screens can be placed on the console, but this was an owner request. Aft, there's an L-shaped settee that's raised so everyone can see out. To starboard is a granite dry bar that holds a reefer with ice maker, which turns the area behind the helm into a bit of a sky lounge. Now let's take a look at the main deck. To enter the salon from the cockpit, just push a button and the door automatically opens. The salon is largest in class thanks to the boat's 20-foot beam. Headroom is 6 feet 9 inches. A plush L-shaped leather sofa is aft facing the cocktail table with storage and the entertainment center to starboard. Air conditioning comes in from over the valances as does the indirect lighting which I think is a classy touch. Hatteras has designed a huge and very classy galley equipped with virtually everything you have at home. Note that there's a four burner stove on the granite countertop with a microwave above. Refrigerators and freezers are in four drawers below the counters. Of course, you can customize the galley any way you want. The cabinets can also be customized to your taste as this owner has done with the raised wood. Just tell Hatteras what you want. I like the island which is also a bar for a quick lunch or entertaining. To port is a large deep settee that seats four very comfortably. Let's take a look below in this four stateroom version. To starboard is the master with end tables on either side of the queen bed opposing a large chest of drawers. Notice the optional wainscoting that warms up this stateroom. The head is large and has a large separate shower. All the way forward is the VIP stateroom in the bow. It also has a queen bed and a large head with separate shower. But the real magic in this boat comes in the form of two portside guest staterooms, which are as roomy as any in class, again because of the boat's 20-foot beam. The aft stateroom even has a Pullman bunk to create more space when occupied by a single person. The passageway is long with the yacht's guest head, closets, and compartment for separate washer-dryer separating all four sleeping areas. Hatteras has done a good job keeping the accommodations as private as possible. Finally, we come to the cockpit. It's designed to land big game in blue water as you can see by this large transom door and two 60-inch fish boxes in the cockpit sole. There's a live well in the transom which is aerated and macerated. I like the bait prep console on the starboard side that has plenty of tackle drawers and a removable cutting board. Under the gunnels are dedicated places for the gaff and boat hook. The team at Hatteras have been building fishing boats for 62 years and they know everything you need and it's all here in this 173 square foot cockpit. For folks that will be doing more cruising than fishing, consider the other ways to use this huge space. It's ideal for cocktail parties, sunning, or as a snorkeling or scuba diving staging area. At Anchor, it's a great place for the kids to do their tournament fishing, while parents sit in the mezzanine seating to keep an eye out and watch the sun go down. In my opinion, Hatteras has done a good job of creating an offshore boat that can be customized in many ways to suit its owner's needs for both big game fishing and for extended cruising. That's our full features walkthrough of the Hatteras GT63 enclosed flybridge. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.